So here is a little mobility workout that you can do to start your day or just if you're feeling a little tight sitting at home and want a little bit of movement. So we're going to start out with just the basic cat-cow. So, and you're going to start in tabletop position and you're going to start by rounding your back and dropping your head and then arching your back and looking up. And if you want, you can add breath to this. So it's going to be breathe out as you round, inhale as you arch up. We'll go three more of those. You want to focus on getting movement through your thoracic spine, which is your mid spine, not just through your lower back. Okay, and then last one. And then the next one is going to be, you're going to stay in this tabletop position and do a thoracic twist. So put your hand on your head, you're going to rotate open and then bring that elbow all the way across to your other arm. Rotate and come across. And again, we're trying to get movement through your thoracic spine, that middle part of your spine, not so much twisting with the hips. Good. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So hand on your head, rotate open, and then touch, reach through with the other, towards the other arm. Good. Three more. And then last one. Good. Okay, and then the next one is gonna be push-up position to downward dog. So you're gonna start by placing your hands on the ground, spread out your fingers, hands right underneath your shoulders. Nice, good plank position, so you wanna try to push away from the ground. Ribs pulled down so you get a little core exercise in there, and then drive your hips up and back into a downward dog. If you want a little bit extra, you can kinda of walk out your feet to get some calf stretches. And then we'll come back forward to a push-up position. Try to hold here for a few seconds and try to work the core, build a little heat, and then push your hips up and back. And again, you can walk those heels out if you want. All right, we're gonna go through three more of those. So hold here, keep the breath going, and then hips up and back. Good, last two. Push your hips up and back and try to get those heels touching towards the ground. Get a good hamstring stretch. And then last one, hold and push up to downward dog. Awesome. Okay. The next one is going to be a lunge to hamstring stretch. So bring your right leg forward. You're going to put your hands on either side of that leg and push your hips forward so you feel a stretch in your groin here. If your foot is too far back, you're gonna end up crunching your knee, so move that foot a little bit forward to make room for your hips to come through. And then keeping your hands on the ground, you're gonna rock back and straighten that front leg to get that hamstring stretch. And then lunge forward and rock back. If it's too hard for you to keep your hands on the ground, you can add blocks or books or something to lift you off the ground and make it a little bit easier. Good, we'll go two more of those. And each time if you notice, I'm trying to keep my foot and my arms in the same spot. That just gives you the best stretch. Okay, go ahead and switch legs, same thing. Lunge forward, make sure your foot's far enough forward to give you room, and then rock back. Good. And if you notice, I'm trying to kind of keep my back flat as I come through, not hunched over. So you want to kind of hold your posture and then rock those hips back. Good. We're going to go two more of those. So all the way forward, get a good groin stretch, rock back, and then last one. Okay, so we're going to get into that groin a little bit more. The next one is going to be a groin rock. So you're going to start in a tabletop position, put one leg out to the side, and then sit your hips back towards your heel. And when you come forward, you'll take that same arm and rotate and open. As you sit back, try to keep your back flat and don't round it. You'll get a little bit more of a stretch in here if you do that. Then rock forward and open that inside arm. 
Good. And you can go as slow or as fast as you want through these poses. It's supposed to be kind of a dynamic stretch, but if you feel like you need a little bit more time sitting back in that pose, go for it. Good. And then rotate. Awesome. Okay, so same thing on the other side. So tabletop, make sure your knees right underneath your hip, put the other leg out to the side, and then you're going to sit back in that position and then open your arm. Good. As you come forward, we're trying to rotate through that thoracic spine again. Get some movement through there. Good. Two more. Awesome. Try to keep your foot flat on the ground here too. It just adds to the stretch. And then open. All right, great. So the next one is going to be an inchworm. So you're going to start in push-up position on the floor of your mat. And then I want you to walk your hands all the way back up towards your feet, taking little steps, keeping your legs straight. And then you're going to walk your hands all the way back out to the front of the mat. Once you get there, you're gonna take your feet and walk your hand or walk your feet up towards your hands. So if you notice, my arms and my legs are staying straight the whole time to get the maximum stretch. Good. And then as I walk up, I'm trying to push my heels down to the ground. Good. And then just keep making your way back and forth. The further that you walk your hands and feet apart from each other, the more of a core exercise. It is, so you can reach out a little further to make it tougher, and then walk the hands up towards the feet. Good. Keep working it back and forth. And then walk the feet all the way up. And we're just gonna finish this set. So little steps, notice my legs are staying straight, and then walk all the way back up to the top here. Awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. So this is a little bit more for your hips and your glutes. So what I want you to do is take your left leg, come across the mat like this. Ideally, we have our front shin perpendicular to us. So let's try to anchor that foot down to the ground and then slide your opposite knee back until you feel a stretch in that hip area. All right, so we're gonna hang here. If you can keep your foot there, great. Let's put your hand on your head and rotate down towards that opposite knee. As we rotate, we're trying to kind of twist all the way through and twist our whole body towards that knee to increase the stretch. Two more. Good, all right, then we'll just hang here, try to drop a little bit lower into that pose. It's better to keep this foot straight across and hold this position, then like fall down and have your leg come, uh, or your foot come in towards your body. So it's all good if you're staying up here. You don't have to collapse all the way down past, um, so you're on your forearms there. Okay, cool. Scoot on up, switch to the other side. So let's put that right leg across, pin your foot down with your hand, and then slide that knee back until you get into a good stretch in that right hip. All right, so then left hand on your head, rotate down towards your knee and open up. Good, we're gonna go three more here. Good, and then last one. And then again, let's just kind of hang out in this position. If you need to kind of slide that foot up, do that. If you wanna increase the stretch, scoot that knee back a little bit further. So this should be a pretty deep stretch into that right hip. And again, you don't have to be this far if you're all the way up here and that's where you feel the stretch, that's totally fine too. But go into a position where you can really feel it deep in the hip there. Okay, awesome. So then we're gonna go back to our tabletop position and I want you to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat on the floor and then drop your hips straight back. So you're gonna feel a deep stretch hopefully in that left side and just keep trying to lean into that position and you're gonna hold and breathe. And just let yourself collapse towards your heels here. Good, we'll go about five more seconds. Okay, and then come on up. 
walk across to the other side of your mat, drop your hips straight back. And again, just breathe and relax and let your body be heavy. You wanna make sure that this right arm stays anchored to the ground. If you need to put your left hand on top of it to anchor it there, that's fine too. Okay, five more seconds. Awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna do one more on the ground. So you're gonna lay all the way on your back. <clears throat> Knees bent, feet flat on the ground and you're gonna make a W with your arms here. So try to pull your ribs down so your whole spine is touching the ground here. Your thumbs are rotated towards the ground and then you're just gonna slide your elbows in towards your side there. So you should feel a little bit of maybe some crunching in the shoulders there, hopefully not too bad, and then reach back up. So this, you should kinda let your shoulder blades move in towards the spine as you're pulling in and then out towards, away from the spine as you reach up. And then this whole time, you're trying to keep those ribs pulled down. As you pull your arms towards your side, you're gonna notice you wanna arch off the ground like that. So keep, keep the core working. Most important is that your spine stays touching the ground. It's okay if your arms have to lift off a little as you're coming down. But you're just trying to keep them as close to the ground as you can and get some good mobility through your back there. All right, let's go three more of those. And last one. Hold it down here and try to ro externally rotate and drive those thumbs down toward the ground and relax. Okay. All right, the last exercise is gonna be a chest opener. So find a doorway or a rack or whatever you have at your house. Place your right hand um, with your elbow bent at about 90 onto the side of the doorway and then step through this way. So we're trying to get a stretch into that right chest. We're gonna go 30 seconds here. Focus on keeping your ribs pulled down so you're not just arching into your back. And then think of kind of scooping the armpit forward and you should feel it kind of a deep stretch in there. The further that you push yourself, put your body through the doorway, the bigger stretch you'll get. You can also raise your arm up a little bit higher to increase the stretch. And then we're just gonna hold for 30 seconds here. So we have about I think three seconds left. Yep, awesome. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So left hand on the doorway, step through. Start, timer's already started, perfect. Um, okay, and then you can step through with either foot. Just try to keep your hips square as you're going through. And again, kind of scoop that armpit so your shoulder's not raising up towards your ear. Keep the ribs down and just keep pushing your body past the door frame or whatever you're using to get this stretch. Good. you got five more seconds. Don't forget to breathe. And that's it. Um, also, if you do have a rack at your house or some doorway that has open walls on the side, a really good stretch is to stick, put your arms out to the side and then step through this way. Then you can get both um, shoulders and both sides of your chest at the same time. What you would want to focus on here is externally rotating the arms like that and then keep pushing through. And again, keep the ribs down, keep just trying to scoop those armpits forward. And you can hold this for up to a minute and just open up that chest. I know a lot of people work from home, work on their computers, and it's a lot of forward movement, so it's just a way to kind of keep those shoulders back and counteract that. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the mobility workout. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the mobility workout. It's something you can do from home in the morning quickly to start your day or if you just need a little energy boost um, throughout the day. Simple at home, no equipment. We're hopefully gonna be coming out with a few more workout videos that you can do at your house with no equipment. Um, stay tuned.